All right, we're back. I got smart and pre-hid the keys this time. So they're just off camera behind this pink footstool. I have to be careful because I don't want him doing that dive under the bush scenario. So I'm saying to myself though, I am gonna, I'm systemically moving this. Hi, Lucy. Oh, sorry for my little breakdown. It just doesn't make any sense. I understand there's other things in the world that don't make any sense either in every field. You know, back in the 60s, they, they tried to tell people about solar energy. They wouldn't listen. Oh, it wasn't, wasn't working before? Uh, you know, they tried to tell people about solar energy, but they said, no, 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 no. We want to get in bed with the Middle East and, you know, have them lead us around by the nose for the next, until the end of time. That's all. Forget your solar energy, your little cost-free, uh, you know, solar energy that's not hurting anybody. No, get big oil, big oil. All right, so what I've got is the, uh, so I gotta just sit over there. He might already be finding him. He's already finding him. <laughs> you silly little man. All right, he knows they're there. Let's just see if he'll go and bring them to me. You should just watch his head. <laughs> That's kind of far, too. Careful, he doesn't try to exit stage left. I was making it a point to turn him back in my direction, and I think you need to be systemically doing that. And that's why I'm against people touching them and everything if they come over by him, because that systemically makes them go away, because they have to end the sequence. If you're touching them, somebody has to end the sequence. Look at him over there looking. Oh, he's up. It's kind of hard to hide him because it makes a noise. I think the keys might be in the van. I lost one of the collars. And I already thought the dogs took off with it, and it was in the van. All right, so let's see if he sees me looking under there. I can see if I can get him to travel. I don't know if you saw yesterday where I got him. Uh, Angus! I systemically move him away. She's going to reaction to him. Really, they've got to learn to get some social skills. Okay, most of the world doesn't make sense. So, in other words, get over myself. I got it, Lucy, got it. <laughs> get over yourself, lady. Nothing makes sense. Okay, got it. It's the backwards, bizarro world. All right, so what I, but you know, again, Lucy, it's, it's true. It does hurt. That, that's what really bothers me. Their whole, we're going to just go out of our way. We're going to put it on our goddamn neck to show people it doesn't hurt. Playing people for that much of a fool. That you're going to put it on your neck and you're, it's not going to hurt. I got news, it's going to hurt. You know, that's what just gets me. And that one with Ed frawley has got this, uh, the, Tens machine on his arm while his arm sits there and flips during the whole interview saying, see, it's not so bad. <laughs> if only, if only I know we're reaching here, if only there was any kind of communication we could use other than this electricity. They're all drawing a blank. <laughs> All 
All right, so I'm going to see if he'll, he'll pick him up and travel. And if you said, what did you do? I didn't have that much room. I didn't have that much room. So when I was at the platform, you're agreeing? Oh, yeah, no. No, that's the part that really doesn't make any sense, Lucy, that, you know, it really, really does hurt. There is a better alternative, but their plan is to continue to keep telling people it doesn't hurt. Don't make me go get the videos. You know, it's... And it, if you said you're just jealous of the work, I'd say, which work are you talking about? And then I, you know, my stock line. The guy can't even do a train to treat. And if you said, which guy? Any of them! room. I, I kind of stalled around, made it look, <laughs> made it seem like I was, I kept moving my feet even though I was at the platform to kind of give the impression of still moving, but that's pretty good. Uh, hi, John. Um, you know, so I think that's what you would have to think of your, you know, if you've got one, if you can get him, and this is where you need to go next, Lucy. Uh, you know, if you can get him picking something up and giving it to you, then you start adding your hold by going on an already known path of travel. He knows to travel. He already knows to travel from there to the platform. You know, he does that without the keys. Oh, no, Sally, it's unbelievable. If you said, oh, listen, lady, they got YouTube's full of these things picking up keys. I, I bet there's not another one. He's so smart. All right, so watch. I just pretend like I'm dropping him, though. So there's my pager. I kind of drive him this way. Then there's my turn. Then they're very obvious. And then I'm obviously going, 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 going. Yay! Yay. And so that's Hi Bris Brasov. I know that's probably not your name. That's the name of the business. Anyway, how's everything in Romania? Please and what you guys need to understand, right now I am on zero, but if you said, well what would you you know, I should probably just be safe, get it on about 20. You know, and my job is to not not have the nick. Again, it is, my job is to set up a wall with a dog like this where there is an invisible wall that you can't go forward anymore. And if you said, how long does that take? It takes a long time. It takes a long time. All right, let me see if I can hide him one more time. It's, just, it's such a fun dog to work with. And if you said, what you're doing doesn't have anything to do and I got to tell that girl, Laura Ann and Chelsea, I honestly think where we need to get people to start is get them to, before they do anything, form a rapport with the dog where the dog will bring them something. And if you said, how's that going to help? It's going to put them on a similar frequency. Oh, he's standing. I thought he was gone. I was going to hide the keys real quick. They're very hard to hide, and I'm sure he thinks me some, some fool. Some fool with my ridiculous attempts to hide. Angus, yay! I just systemically move him away, but he doesn't really have. And I've got some that do, and and the ones that do just do, that, like you know, if you said, well, give me some examples, that chocolate lab buddy, that lab Daisy, Steph's lab, that thing, it, it, something gets in too close proximity, you're at risk of. But this dog doesn't seem to have that. All right, so my job is to go back over there. Well, anything. It doesn't even have to be those dumbbells. I think he's going to find them. <laughs> Yay! 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 
I, I don't see where you can go wrong. It's no fault training. You're not asking anything. And if you said, well, that would just be their natural instinct to pick things up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Anyway, guys, I'm going to run through these dogs, so I will be right back. But that was big progress for him. So he needs a trigger point. And if you said, well, where's his trigger point? It's subclinical right now. You know, and I have met his force with an equal or greater force through attrition, not... No, I couldn't do it in one day. I couldn't do it in one day. And what I'm going to have to do at some point is put those big shepherds back out there because I'm, I can go back. In fact, that's what I should do. Go back and get the video of him fence fighting with those shepherds where he couldn't be gotten away. And then just see if I can get him away because they're going to act like an ass. Hello, George. Trust me, Sally. I'm amazed too. It's unbelievable. You know, now he's like my little helper dog because he just sees him dropping. And it's all, it's all implied. He's my little helper dog. I definitely need to get more of these. Anyone has any? Or just, I guess I could just get key rings. But I think that's what you're saying to yourself. If I can get, get them picking something up, get them doing a little drill, then I start getting them to travel. No, they do. Well, all dogs, just, just put it this way, Sally, all dogs pick things up. You know what I mean? If someone said, I've never seen a dog pick something up, a stick, anything, I'd say. You know, but now I'm just getting him to travel, and it's just. Oh no, I, you can go back, Sally, if you go back, not that anyone has time to watch all these videos, but the very first videos, oh, they do, Lucy, good. Uh, well, but you're asking him to bring it to you, not pick it up and hand it to you. There's a big difference. If you said, what's the difference? Hand me the ketchup and go in the refrigerator and get the ketchup. You know what I mean? Hand me the ketchup means you're right there. It's requiring very little effort. That's a cur common courtesy. Go and get something. Well, you may need to be a little bit better friend than it. You know, so that's what you have to think of. It's different than what people are thinking of with retrieving is that we throw something. And that's where people have to get that out of their head. Retrieving is just... It, there can be a dead object, a live object. It's, you know, various... But people don't do the dead object thing. They want to throw it. Now they're setting the dog up for failure. If I don't, I'm not asking him to pick it up. That's what you have to understand. There's no option for failure. All he has to do is not pick it up. I'm not telling him to do it. I'm just looking at it. He's my squishy. All right, you guys, I will be right back. Just gonna have a short. Yeah, no, you have to, Lucy. I think, you know, if you do it that way, they believe it was their idea. And eventually, the way you could turn it into a trained or a retrieve was just eventually, if they decided not to, it was your idea. Come on, it was your idea, pull through, pull through. <laughs> you know, you're coming from a different place than if you started out saying, gimme, 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 which is what people do with the ball. Because I always ask people, does it fetch? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't bring it back. No, that's a different thing. That's running after something. <laughs> yes, it'll run after a ball. It won't bring it back. So they're trying to put everything together at once. It's a, you're putting it in your hand is a separate subtask. I'm not really throwing the keys. I'm just dropping them. Anyway. No, no, Sally. It, this, honestly, this is what we call... Uh, it's, it's, it is very complex, but it's... It is, it's new, it's cutting edge, it's new age training, because we're using, you know, I'm communicating with this collar through vibration, if you notice. You know, that's, that's how he understands me, he's... Oh, we gotta show Zoe you're dancing. He dances. Oh, he's like, that's not dancing, all right, hang on. Oh, that's for sure dancing, Sally. <laughs> We're going to get a little cha-cha music. 
Anyway, all right, guys, I will be right back. We're going to just run through some episodes. I'm going to try to find... I remember how I said those keys were my house keys. Uh, now I'm thinking to myself, where the hell are my house keys? Hopefully they're in the van. You guys.